this is a bit of a tricky one. We pick up a missing poster at the bus stop, which unlocks the largemouth bass and sun's location. Once we arrive, we need to immediately start fishing. But one of the guards will try and stop us, and we want to back down before getting into trouble. The important part is that we try. Once that's done, we head into either of the boss's offices and chat to them about their missing child. In this video, we're taking the Chapman path, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference if you go with Tracy instead. Supposedly, Chapman can screw you out of the achievement if you don't do it properly, but I didn't have that problem. If you're worried about it, go with Tracy. Talking to Chapman, we want to ask about the missing persons poster and then immediately try to get paid for it. Because we tried to fish earlier, we can also ask for fishing rights. He should agree as long as we have at least six moxie. Now that we're officially getting paid, we start exploring the swamp, looking for where the kids could have gone. If we've unlocked the treehouse location, we can head to the upper level, provided we have seven moxie or muscle, and use a telescope there to find an abandoned truck. Once we get to the truck, we find that it's a largemouth bass is in Sun's vehicle, but the drivers are still missing. Inside the cabin, we can find a key to Tracy's crew room, but searching that will only get us Kathy's letter, which is useless to us, since we're on the Chapman path. However, with a little creative pressure, we can find Tom's diary hidden behind the lockers in the Chapman crew room. Inside, we find the boy's plan to drive away with one of the company trucks. We can tell him all about where the truck is and his plan to take it. However, Chapman doesn't seem to really care. Even if we tell him that, it looks like Tom ran away on his own. To be honest, I'm not certain this step is actually required, as when you're doing the Tracy path, you can actually skip this part entirely. Our Chapman seems to be giving other people trouble, so I want to make sure this part was not cut out. However, the actual important part is that we found an abandoned truck. As soon as we find the abandoned truck, we can head to the bus stop and find both kids waiting there. What we say doesn't really matter unless we have 10 moxie, but I've never quite managed that. What does matter is that the legendary Awesome's Gator shows up and demands that the kids go home. And we just kind of let him do that. In my first run, I made the mistake of arguing with him, but we actually just want him to take the kids back. Now that kids are nice, safe, and miserable, we head back to the employer and take our bounty. As long as we've done this correctly, we should get our hands on the key to Chapman's side door. Opening the door, we can walk out to the lake, throw our fishing rod, and... We got the legendary Largest Mouth Luke. After a quick speech, we get our hands on a magic conch shell and the Prince of Tides achievement. Not too bad for letting a burly gator do all our hard work, right? <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll be doing a whole series in this game, so let me know if there's anything else you want me to do. But in any case, have a good day.